everybody and welcome back to Rikune's Land. My name is Jules and today we're going to play Prison Architect again. Last we started, well I paused the game, last we started researching health and that's going to take five more hours so we're having some time. As we can see here, this guard, well we can't tell too much about him, well, anyway, we can see that he's tired. If we zoom in, we can see this green bar telling us about it. I don't know if the the smaller it is, the less tired he is, or the more tired he is, I don't know. But still, okay, our prisoners are now going to go into the yard. Maybe that will, I don't know, make them happy or anything. But they're still in a good mood, so it doesn't matter that much anyway. But what we are going to need for our staff members who are, well, pretty tired is a okay, it's getting dark when we click the, the office okay I was just confused by that uh, what we need for them is a staff room where they can relax it needs to be indoors so we're just gonna build another room then this time it only needs to be four times four so six times six should be what we're... Oh, it was always four times four, yeah. So this should be what we're looking for. Let's just see. They'll build it. That will take some time. But then we can have a staff room, which is pretty neat because our staff won't get tired that easily or can rest once they get tired because, well, apparently they work 24-7. So they have to have t some time to relax at least. What we need for that room is, one second, where is it? The staff room, there. A white sofa and a drink machine. Let's see, a white sofa, a white sofa, a white sofa. White sofa, the drink machine here, okay. And the white sofa, we can turn it, so it's just gonna be like here. Now let's put up a wall in between these two buildings or let's make them two different buildings by putting a wall between them and let's also put a staff door up here so the guards can easily access this or just the um, well the workmen as well but I guess they're not getting tired just the wards and stuff the workmen are just existing can we hire more work workmen by the way yes we can not necessary yet but maybe later on about our health plan, three more hours to go. We have, oh, it's, it's, oh, we can see it if we hover with our mouse over the bureaucracy panel. It's 46% researched. Now we have lock up time. Let's see what they're gonna do with that. And as we can see, it's getting a bit dirty here. Maybe we can hire somebody to clean. There is a gardener, but we need to research groundskeeping first. Okay. Here are new ingredients for dinner, I guess. Is there dinner? Yes, there will be dinner. I guess the cooks will take it to the kitchen or maybe the workmen will, I don't know. But that should be starting to work soon. Okay, and the garbage is kind of carried to, into the supply truck that gave us our ingredients. But I'm still wondering about well, we can dump these, but I guess we're not going to get any money from that, so we're just going to wait. Maybe later on there will be an option about that, or an option for that. Okay, the cables, and we need to tell this room that it is supposed to be a staff room too. And as we can see, this bar is getting lower, so maybe that guy is going to die or something if he's too tired. But this, there are prisoners... What? There are no prisoners assigned to eat at this canteen? It's a staff room. What? Let's say that again. It's a staff room. No, it isn't? Okay. He's resting. I don't know why that is such a problem. Let's just... Wait a second. They're not... Well, let's just say this is a canteen and then say it's a staff room again. Maybe that will help. Why doesn't it? I really don't get it. Uh, 
I'm sorry, just had a sneeze. Okay, let's try it again. The staff room. There are no prisoners assigned to eat at this canteen. I, I, I'm really not sure what that's supposed to mean. I mean, it has to be a bug, doesn't it? Everything else wouldn't make sense, at least not to me. One staff member is exhausted, but he's resting, okay. So this bar is getting filled up by the second. Let's just fast forward, and once it's full... Well, one is still... Oh, our warden is exhausted, but he's gonna rest soon, too. Okay, so not a problem right now. We're almost done with researching our health plan thingy. The guard should still stay inside the holding cell, I guess, because otherwise we can't see what's going on in there until we have surveillance, which might still be a while. Okay, so our prisoners, this guy, this guy, oh, he's, he's just minimum security. Oh, we can, we can change that, but still, he's just minimum security, although he stole 5.2 billion US dollars. Pretty crappy. Well, he's been sentenced to 21 years for multiple crimes, including insider trading, bribery and money laundering. That's um, pretty crappy. And it's also pretty crappy to spend 21 years in prison for that. But maybe he had a gun or anything, I don't know. But I guess he... Oh yeah, uh, it's down here. Yes, he was in prison before for video game piracy, burglary, fraud, possession and perjury. But now false accounting, money laundering, bribery and insider trading. Money laundering is 12 years, that's pretty heavy stuff. Okay, so he's been quite some time in our prison now, but I'm still excited to see about this one. He's just gonna be here for, for 0 0.3 more years, however that long that might be. I'm, I'm not sure, is one day like 10% of a year? I'm, I'm not sure about that. We just have to figure that out later on. I'm still so confused about this whole staff room thing with the canteen. It doesn't make any sense at all to me. But as long as our staff can relax there, it's uh, not a problem, I guess. Okay. Now they had dinner. Well, they're off officially they're still having dinner, but they are done already. They are pretty well fed, but well, he's not well fed like that. I'm not sure about that. Maybe um, it, it needs to be a certain diet which we have to uh, feed them with or, or whatever. Um, we'll figure that out later too, I guess. For now, we're done with our health, health invention. And we can now start uh, dealing with it with our... Um, Inmate health and well-being plan, so we need to build a medical ward for that Build that one over here. Oh, how, how large does it have to be? I should have looked that up first a medical ward medical ward medical ward Infirmary there it is. It just needs to be in north and have a medical bed. So not too large at all We can just do it like this as well, just the normal size should be fine. And let's say this is an infirmary already. Oh, we need to, okay, we need to have them build it first. Of course, I'm gonna need some time until I figure out how that's always working. So a medical bed should stand like here, for example. And we also need a door. I'm not sure if it should be a staff door. I mean, there are some things in the medical ward that prisoners should not have, like a scalpel or something like that. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to have a normal door there. Let's just try to use a staff door. Let's just let's just use a jail door, jail door for that one. Or no, that's. I'm not sure. Let's let's um, let's just keep it this way. It's okay. It's okay. We now need a, another wall, like here, 
And now we can tell the infirmary to be an, an infirmary. And now what we need is a doctor or apparently two doctors. Okay. Okay, they are also uh, healing injured guards if there was a fight or something like that. So not only our prisoners. That's also pretty neat, of course. And we need some more electricity in here, like this, for example. And as we can see here at the power station, it's, uh, well, we have about 50% of our power used up already. Maybe we should put some lights here, though. Oh, well, as long as no staff is there, we're, we're not going to see anything anyway. But um, I guess we, sh we still should put some lights there. Can we just do it here? No, this is just the CCTV objects. A metal detector. That's pretty cool. But it's also quite expensive and high powered. Otherwise I would just put some metal detectors in front of the firmware and use a normal door so that any, well, metal. Yeah, most things that are dangerous are metal, so that would be a good idea after all, I guess. Still, why isn't that guy staying in here? Maybe we sh we ha we can um, tell them to do this later. But there are all prisoners sleeping, so that's quite fine. But now we need a psychologist who, by the way, also needs an office. Let's do this one. I don't know. We could just do it here. Doesn't matter after all. Let's do it like this. And we can put the door for this office with a staff door right here. And what we need once again is a filling cabinet. Maybe here. We also need a chair and an office desk. Office desk here. And where's the chair? Over here. Let's turn it around. Up here. Now once again Maybe there's an easier way, just tell me if there's an easier way to build these buildings. That lockup sound always makes me go crazy, I just think like, whoa, what's happening now? But it's just lockup time. <laughs> anyway, let's now tell this office to be an office. What's missing? Infirmary? I, didn't I say office? Really? I'm really not sure why this stuff keeps happening. But still, we have this office now and we can hire a psychologist. Or oh, we can't because we need to research psychology first. But once we have a psychologist, we can apparently see what's bothering our prisoners. So that's a good thing, I guess. And as we can see, we kind of need it rain. Otherwise, the showering prisoners... Oh, well. Okay, since it's outside, it's still working. But I guess if the showers were on the inside, we would have some problems with uh, the water just flowing everywhere. But still, let's put some drains below those shower heads. Let me just... Let me just put them in the same place. Okay, that should work, I guess. I hope it does. And once we're done researching psychology, I would really love to um, research something like groundskeeping or whatever it was called to uh, keep this all clean because it's getting really mossy over here and kind of dirty in the kitchen and the canteen and also in the offices. Also this office doesn't have any power and doesn't need any either but still I'd like to get some lights in here as well as in here it's not looking too good this way. Oh, oh maybe that doesn't make any sense because we can't watch what's happening inside anyway because there's um, nobody in there or can we i'm still not so sure about that but this guard can still go inside there because that's a bit safer if he watches these guys so let's see he, he's having kind of a bad mood sometimes i don't know why uh, soon we will see more about his psychology and what we can do to increase, well, to increase his happiness is the wrong word because he's still a prisoner, but, well, you know what I mean. His, um, well, we can decrease the chance of him rioting or something like that. But this guy is also gonna get released soon, so that's not um, 
so important right now, at least not for him. I'd like to get more prisoners though. But I'm not sure if she if we should get more inside that holding cell. Let's just say we're gonna get eight. That might be better. Might also be more money per day. Oh we of course we have an accountant now. I forgot that. We are getting let's see, okay, we are getting some money for days without incidents. Nice. Oh, taxes are quite high. But we are also getting a federal grant of 2,000 per day and a prisoner grant for 600. So the prisoner grant should be just for having the prisoners. That should double once we have the double amount of prisoners, of course. At least I guess it should work like that. And as we can see, we finished researching psychology. So let's see, where do we have groundskeeping? Groundskeeping is here. So we need maintenance first. Okay, and after that we need the foreman, which uh, we can hire, and he helps us, well, invent the rest of that stuff. But do we actually need that? But this this looks pretty good. Micromanagement. Maybe, yes, this um, customize our guard deployment at different times of the day. That looks good because we can see what's happening in the holding cells when there's no guard in there and he keeps running away. So that should be a good idea. Um, we still need the psychologist though for now. Let's put him in here or just tell him to go anywhere. And we are done with this grant and get 10,000 more bucks. By having this psychologist, we can also see some more stuff about our prisoners. Let's just get this guard in here. And let's see what this guy needs, for example. Or let's not see what this guy needs. Shouldn't we be able to? Convictions, grading, mood, condition. Oh, my bad. Character. We're not getting any information, but why not? Let's see again. The psychologist allows us to gain in, in an insight on into the minds of our prisoners. Hmm. Let's see. No, we didn't unlock any new research things uh, to help us with that. So I'm not sure why it's not working. Maybe it will work later on. Let's just wait until we can deploy guards in there. But we can also... Oh, we can see that they all... Well, some of them are not safe with the environment, of course, that's why I want groundskeeping. But most of them are pretty unhappy about not having their family near them. I guess we can change that. Maybe that's why their mood is also decreasing. Also, although this guy is gonna... No, not, don't punish him. I just want to see what we can do. Okay, there's also... Okay, I see. There is one family waiting to visit, but we don't have a room for them to visit our prisoners yet. Um, let's see, maybe we can build one. A visitation room just needs to be indoors and have a visitor table or visitor booth. Okay. Let's build that thing. Like here, for example. The size should be alright. We can just put a normal door in here. I guess there shouldn't be a problem with that. Although their families might give them some stuff they shouldn't have. So I'm just gonna put a... Just to, to make sure everything's fine. Ah, okay, we can... We Oh no, we can use a visitor booth instead of the visitor table so they can't give each other stuff so the, the visitors can't give the prisoners any weapons or anything. But I guess we're still gonna just take the normal visitor table and put a... where is it again? Why can't I see it? I'm sorry, but here it is. The metal detector. Let's put that right here so when they step out of the room they are going to have to step through this metal detector and once they do we will know if their families gave them something they shouldn't have. Ah, okay. This sign here, like the cable on the right, tells us that we have to connect it and not just have cables near it. So let's do it like this. That should work. Although it might take some time now. Let's 
so now we can have some visitors although i'm not sure how exactly we can tell them that they can come because if there are several several families waiting there's no way to say which one can come first or anything but here we have the needs okay so not the needs of a single prisoner but of all of them together let's just see one second micromanagement we're now gonna invent maintenance or not invent it but research it but this guy okay we can't see anything here either but if we hover over him we can see what he needs what he's caring about and some other stuff okay So let's see if we look at the re reports though we can see all the needs and how important they are like for example this one's red which means that they are really furious that they um, well, can't meet this need as <laughs> it's said here so family is the most important thing sleep is quite important but as the blue bar in um, well tells us uh, all of our prisoners are also taking care of this need right now so they are sleeping so that's not a problem at all although they are still yeah they are still <laughs> uh, well they have to take care of their bladder and their barrels like using the toilet but they're doing this one by one now so that's not a problem at all but now we're gonna get four new prisoners and we're not ready for that yet so I should probably do Get ready for that now so two more bunk beds would be quite nice like here and maybe here I don't know doesn't matter and we also need another bench let's put it here and another table 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 da -da 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 table where is it I really hate this whole thing I I'm not sure how this is um, Wait, can, can we tell it to... Oh, we can just say that we want a table. That's a good idea. Okay. Should it... Ah, okay, like this. Okay, then. Now we have more space for our prisoners to sleep and more place for our... Or more space for our prisoners to eat. So that should be working now. Of course, we need some more time until it's all built but we also have five more minutes uh, until the prisoners arrive which they now do here they come okay they are all wait a second there are five. Oh yes of course they are of course there are five there was one guy leaving the prison and as we can see we're not getting only 600 but 1200 bucks for our prisoners now per day and we're also getting $80 per day for having no incident in two days. Yay, let's just keep up the good work. Woohoo. So, okay, the food takes up 96 bucks, but that's not a problem, I guess. Why are these guys not? Okay, now they are getting escorted. Okay, everybody needs... What? He's released? Didn't he just come here? He spent zero hours in our prison and he's now getting released. Awesome guy. Where did he go? I didn't watch him. Did he leave already? Nah, crap. I guess he did. Okay then. Apparently he did. Okay, these guys are all working here and now we should be able to micromanage some stuff. Logistics, that's it. Okay. I'm... Um, so not sure why this canteen is even existing. Well, still, how, how can we tell our guards to do stuff? Yeah. There are no canteens accessible by the cell. That's bullshit, they can always go. Whatever. Laundry distribution, yeah, room quality, whatever. I just want my guards to know where to go. What's about this one? Oh no, it's just the whole... Why isn't, isn't there a canteen accessible? That's bullshit. Or did we click something we shouldn't have clicked? 
This one's going to take care of this one. And these guys should be eating here. So we have demand of 7 and supply of 8. Let's work it out. Okay, okay. Somehow it got disconnected or whatever. Um, now I'm just gonna build for 1000 bucks, but still a new capacitor so we can have more electrical stuff. Let's just deal with the schedule now because now we have free time after what some more lockup. Oh, my bad. I mean, we could tell people to work but there's no there are no workplaces yet so that's not any good idea but the valuation looks quite nice one sec apparently our prison is worth exactly 50,000 ah that can, ah that can't be right i'm i'm not sure what this means but we had a starting grant of 50,000 of course and now, apparently, that thing is worth 100, uh, 50,000 bucks. Anyway, we have some programs. Okay, we can give people spiritual guidance. For that, we need a chapel and a spiritual leader in the chapel. And it will it would take two hours. And afterwards. I don't know. Okay. They are okay, this is supposed to calm our people. Our prisoners. Maybe we'll do this later. For now, since oh wait a second. We have prisoners waiting to visit. But why can't they? I'm just wondering. Apparently we, we still have no place to well oh, we didn't tell this room what it is yet. <laughs> Uh, that's probably why. So, visitation room, right here. Okay, three visitors are inside, and they are in one group. Are they coming from down here or up there? Let's just see. Here they come. Stone is the guy who's being visited by his daughter, his father, and his wife. Okay, let's just see how this is gonna work out. That reminds me, I was still going to tell everybody what to do. Um, wait a second. Policy, regime, needs, jobs, intake, prisoners, total staff, but we can't... Oh no, I fired a guard. That was not supposed to happen. My bad. Okay, let's do it like this. Um, maybe you should stay there and watch them. Stupid head. But still, I'm, I'm not sure how to tell him where to go. Deployment should do that. Assign stuff to areas in your prison. But didn't we... Prison policy... Micromanagement... It unlocks a deployment scheduler which lets us customize our guard deployment. I don't get it. Oh, the janitor and the groundskeeping part are two different things, okay. But still, where can we... Ah, here's deployment with security. Whatever. We need that, that soon. Maybe sooner than cleaning and groundskeeping. But let's just invent security for now. And go for employment next so that um, we can actually tell our guards where to be at any time. Okay, I hope this guy is a bit happier now. Let's just look at the overall report. Uh, where is it? Grants policy regime needs. Family one is still quite important, but there are also some people not even having this need or which are quite happy with this need because, well, they just got it fulfilled or that uh, it's not important for them or anything. Recreation is important for some of them because they're not doing anything. Maybe we should... Um, yeah, as it says here, ATV, we should add a TV, ATV somewhere or anything. But I'm not sure about that yet, maybe later on. For now, I'd say it's pretty neat. I, I'm, I'm not quite sure where our visitors are. Apparently they're still here. Okay, now they are gone. Whatever. But we have a new prison arriving in the morning. 
although it's still some time until then. Our prisoners are all eating pretty well. I'm quite happy, I'm still not sure what's up with this stupid thing here, whatever this is still called a canteen, but I don't really care about that anyway. So, after all, I'd say we're gonna stop playing now, start playing once again in a couple of minutes for you, or maybe tomorrow, or whenever you're gonna watch this. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, thanks for tuning in next time again. Until then, have a great day, great evening, great morning, and of course an awesome night, depending on what time it is when you're watching this video. Until then, see you everybody, bye! Hey once again and thanks for watching today's episode of Prison Architect. I hope you liked the video, if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel. Also a comment would be nice, I'm always interested in discussing everything about the game, write in the comment section. Anyway, until next time, bye everybody!